Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo and I'm here today with my seven-year-old granddaughter and we're going to make a necklace. So I got all these elements from the bargain bead box of September of 2023 called Mountain Majesties and I really like everything that was in there and uh, today we're going to be using the paperclip chain that was in there. Uh, they look like carabiners. There was a carabina, carabiner clasp that was in there and I had a hard time opening this so I just got out my rubber pliers and gently twisted and then it it came open really nicely. Let me move this aside right here because you know what you can make a very, very simple necklace by just opening this, putting on your chain, make sure it's not twisted here, putting it around your neck of course, putting the other side on, and then tightening that up. And look at that. Very simple chain. My youngest son and his girlfriend, they like to do a lot of rock climbing. And I could see her wearing this necklace. Now for those of you who do not know what a carabiner is, they're actually used in a lot of rope intensive acti activities such as like rock climbing, mountain climbing. They're also used caving, which I would never do that. <laughs> My claustrophobia would get the best of me in that. Uh, but any type of rope rescue, sailing, hot air ballooning, they use them in construction work, um, window cleaning, anything like that. Basically, what this does is it attaches a rope to like a safety area. Carabiners are used to quickly and securely attach two or more objects together. They can be clipped onto just about anything when it comes to travel gear. So they're really handy if you do a lot of traveling. I know I did a backpacking trip back when I was in college for about four weeks in the Yellowstone area and I used a carabiner on my backpack to hang things. Some people actually even use them as a keychain. There's a variety of different ways you can use these, but when I, the first thing I think of when I see a carabiner is a rock climber or a mountain climber or something like that. And so that's why the first person I thought of when I saw that was my son's girlfriend. So here's one option. That was really easy to do. Something else I could do, it would actually hang like this though upside down. Um, when you put it on your neck it would hang more like that. And what other things I could do is I could hang some stuff off of here. Um, just get some head pins and make these uh, charms and then I have this charm. Another thing you could do is you could actually make it so it hangs like this. In fact, I, you could put the clasps on here and you could find the middle here. See if I could find the middle right there. And you can hang this like this. Screw that on. And then you can hang these off of it, like that. Or something else you could do. I gotta decide what I wanna do, because I like all these ideas. I could take one of the mountain links and I could take a couple of jump rings see, where's my jump ring ring? I like using this thing. Open up the jump ring. Wait. Let's 
All right, this one may be soldered. There we go. So I could open it up like this, hang this like this, close it back up. I don't think this is soldered, but maybe it is. Nope, there it is. There we go. Close it back up. And then I could hang the carabiner on it like this. Now, when I had only the carabiner on it, um, it was pretty short. It was closer to a, a choker, but this would give it some length. And it would hang like that. It might hang a little bit like that, just depends. It would, you know, how it moves around on your neck. But that's pretty cool. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Which one do you like the best? So I did try it on like this. I'll be honest with you, this, even though I think this is really cool, this tends to flip. And sometimes the mountains are upside down. Um, so maybe that is not the best option. You'd have to be really careful on how you put it on the carabiner so it does not flip around like that. Um, I think what I like best are the other two options. And I'll be honest with you, since I'm probably going to be giving this as a gift, to my son's girlfriend, and I know she loves simplicity. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to give it to her like this. But you know what? I am going to show you how to make the other one <laughs> with these dangling. Let me go get some head pins. So, what I did is I just put a jump ring on. The little charm that's just going to fit just like that and the next thing i want to do i think i'm just going to do a simple loop i was going to do a wrap but this is thick enough that it would really have to be not opened a lot in order for it to fall off so the simple loop it is I do need to make it the loop big enough that it does go around the carabiner okay. And you know what? I hope that that doesn't... I, you have to kind of be careful sometimes with these holes and these... Um, beads, sometimes the holes in the beads are too big. I don't think it's going to go through on the lava. I think we'll be fine. All right. Right. Huh. Let's see. One thing about this too, you could add charms and sometimes wear the charms and sometimes not wear the charms. That would be an option. I love versatile jewelry. In fact, I could actually do that. I could give her give it to her as a gift and she can wear it different ways hmm 
It's an interesting option. All right. I think I want to put these on first. go. See, and then you have all those dangling off. You have some fancy jasper, some lava bead, and then the mountains. But again, I think I am back to simplicity. <laughs> but anyway, this gives you some variety of how you could um, use this carabiner. Boom, there we go. Yep, that's the way I like it. And I think that's the way that she will like it too. Here's another option. Actually, I think I like this option the best. Just a simple little mountain charm hanging off there. Tell me which way you liked the best. This way, or when I had it hanging like this, when I hang, had it hanging like this with all the charms. Or do you have any other ideas you could use this carabina for? I want to thank you all for joining me, and you have a great day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo, signing out for now. Bye-bye.